everyone, and welcome back to drama o -rama Online. I'm Mrs. Combs, and I'm so excited to share this time with you today. Now, remember to have your journals ready, and let's get started. For today's warm-up, we are going to revisit statues. I'm going to call out different levels, high, medium, and low. And when I say action, I want you to strike a pose at that level. So if I say high, your pose has to be a high level. If I say medium, medium level. And if I say low, low level. And remember, it's any pose that you want to make. Are you ready? Find your space bubbles, then stand in neutral. The first level is high. So when I say action, I want you to pose in a high statue. And action. Freeze. Hold that statue. The next level is low. And action. Freeze. Hold that statue. The next level is medium. And action. Freeze, hold that statue, and neutral. Now, we are going to move faster. I'm going to call out a level, and I want you to quickly move to that level and freeze. Now listen carefully. Low. High. Low, medium, high, medium, low, and neutral. Very good. Today we are going to explore an African folktale using tableau. And remember, tableau is a living, frozen picture that tells an important moment in a story. And folk tales, like fairy tales and fables and myths, were passed down through word of mouth. Now, African folk tales didn't always end happily ever after, but they always taught a good lesson. We are going to explore the Nigerian folktale, the stolen soup aroma. I will tell this folktale pausing three times to show important moments in the beginning, middle, and end using tableau. I want you to follow my directions as I act it out, and I want you to act it out with me. Are you ready? The Stolen Soup Aroma, a Nigerian folktale tableau. The Beginning. A long time ago, in the village of Ipetumodu, there lived a poor woman. She was so poor, she didn't have any soup for her ebba. Now, ebba is a starchy paste made from cassava flour and by itself is not very tasty. Now across the road from the poor woman lived another woman who cooked agusi soup every day. Now agusi soup by itself is very, very tasty. Well, one day as the poor woman was sitting down to her only meal for the day, a bowl of ebba that was very small, a wonderful aroma from her neighbor's cooking wafted into her window. Hmm. She thought, perhaps she will be kind enough to share some soup for my Ebba. Hmm. So she took her bowl of Ebba 
and headed to her neighbor who was busy stirring a big pot of egusi soup. Please, she asked, may I have a little soup for my Ebba? The woman stirring the soup looked up at the poor woman and said, oh, if you can't make your own agusi soup, then you don't deserve to have any. Freeze. Now we're going to explore this moment using Tableau. Are you ready? Find your space bubbles, then stand in neutral. I want you to think about that moment where the poor woman is asking the Agusi soup woman for a bowl of soup. And as you are acting out that tableau of the poor woman making that request, I will narrate your tableau. And action. Freeze. Please, may I have a little soup for my Ebba? And neutral. Next, we are going to act out the neighbor woman refusing to share her agusi soup with the poor woman. And action. Freeze. The woman stirring the soup looked up to see her poor neighbor and replied, If you can't make your own agusi soup, then you don't deserve to have any. And neutral. The middle. The poor woman went back to her own hut and sat outside on her doorsteps where the aroma from her neighbor's agusi soup was very, very strong. Hmm. This gave her an idea. She took a small bit of Ebba in her hands, inhaled a large dose of Egusi soup aroma, and quickly put mm, the Ebba in her mouth and swallowed it with that aroma. Mm. Hmm. That was very satisfying. Well, the Agusi woman, seeing this poor neighbor eating the aroma from her soup, got very, very angry. She ran out and yelled at the poor woman, Stop eating the aroma from my soup! But the poor woman did not stop. She kept inhaling the aroma from the wonderful Agusi soup while she ate her Ebba. Mm. She found the aroma from the soup very, very satisfying. And every day, whenever the rich aroma from the Agusi soup wafted into the poor woman's window, she would quickly make a small bowl of Ebba, sit outside, and enjoy her Ebba, as well as that wonderful aroma from the Agusi soup. Freeze. Now we're going to explore this moment using Tableau. Are you ready? Find your space bubbles, then stand in neutral. Next, we're going to act out using Tableau, that moment where the Agusi soup woman gets very angry at the poor neighbor for eating the aroma from her soup, and I will narrate your tableau. And action. Freeze. The Agusi woman 
seeing this poor neighbor eating her soup's aroma, got very angry. She ran out and yelled at the woman, Stop eating the aroma from my soup! And neutral. Now we are going to act out the poor woman in that moment where she is inhaling the aroma from the soup as she's eating her ebba and action. Freeze. But the poor woman did not stop. She kept inhaling the aroma from the agusi soup while she ate her ebba. She found the aroma from the soup very satisfying. And neutral. The end. The Agusi woman was getting furious and decided to take her case to the Oba, the king of the village. She said, this woman steals the aroma from my Agusi soup to eat her Ebba. She must be punished. So the Oba listened to the woman and agreed that the poor woman should indeed be punished for stealing soup aroma and he ordered the Agusi woman to carry out the punishment. She stole your aroma, therefore you shall flog her shadow. You shall flog her shadow 40 times with this big stick. And the Oba handed the stick to the Agusi woman. The Agusi woman was shocked. She took the stick, looked at Oba, looked at her poor neighbor, and felt so foolish. She felt so foolish that she asked the poor woman for forgiveness. And she offered to give her real Agusi soup from now on. Freeze. Now we're going to explore the ending using Tableau. Are you ready? Find your space bubbles, then stand in neutral. Finally, we are going to act out the moment where the Agusi woman feels so foolish and finally apologizes to the poor woman. And as you act out that tableau, I will narrate. And action. Freeze. She felt so foolish that she asked the poor woman for forgiveness and offered to give her real agusi soup from now on. and neutral. Now we will act out the reaction of the poor woman to the neighbor woman's apology and her offer of kindness. And action. Freeze. She felt so foolish that she asked the poor woman for forgiveness and offered to give her real Agusi soup from now on. And neutral. The end. We were able to highlight important moments in the beginning, middle, and end of our Nigerian folktale the stolen soup aroma, 
using Tableau. We explored how both the poor woman and the neighbor woman reacted to one another throughout the story and how their relationship changed by the end of the story. Using Tableau in this way gives us a deeper understanding of how their relationship unfolded, why it changed, and the lesson that was learned. It's time for today's journal prompt. I want you to think about your favorite part of the folk tale that we explore using Tableau today. And I want you to draw a picture of your favorite Tableau. And make sure you include both characters in your picture. Make sure you show how they feel about each other. And remember, use details. Thank you so much for exploring our Nigerian folktale today using Tableau. Until next time, we'll sing goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Goodbye, everyone. It's time to say goodbye. Goodbye, everyone.